Anatom Field Solutions here. We're going to show you a quick demo on how to activate RTK corrections on an Arrow 200 from EOS. And right now we're sending out a, a lot more of these rental units, these RTK units to clients. So we figured the easiest way to help people get their units set up once they receive the equipment was to do a quick video. So right now what we're looking at is an Arrow 200 connected to our satellite on the roof of our office here. And in the center, that HRMS, you can see that, that is horizontal estimated accuracy, and the VRMS below it is vertical. And that's in meters, so right now for horizontal, it's about 35 centimeters. And then at the bottom right, you can see diff status is DGPS. Now that means that currently, this Arrow 200 is receiving SBAS corrections from the satellites which is why we see the diff age count up to about seven and then reset back down to about four. And this is the same kind of accuracy we would see with a submeter unit where you're just receiving corrections from the satellites with SBAS or the WAS system here in North America. Now what I wanna to show today is we're going to tap this differential button on the bottom here. The first thing you have to do when you receive the equipment is to check with your RTK account uh, based on the state that you're working in and look at their website to see what the uh, Intrip caster computer that we're going to receive corrections from what its IP address is you can see right there below caster and then also what the port is you can see in the top right there that 9882 is the port for the network that I'm about to connect to and then the ASCH1 that's where our username goes and then you can see the dots for our password the other thing you need to do before you head to the field is to look at that website for the RTK network you're going to connect to and determine the nearest mount point for the work you're going to be doing. So I'm going to tap select mount point and you can see the smaller selection here, the number of mount points for us here in Oregon and uh, I'm already selected. If you're working in a st large state like uh, say California, that selection of mount points is very large and you definitely need to make sure you pinpoint the one that's nearest to your work area. So we're done, so I'm gonna tap done real quick. Now the other thing I wanna point out before I activate the corrections is in the upper right, you can see that red blinking light. As soon as we activate our, uh, our RTK network corrections and we're receiving it through cell service, the green light will start to blink. So let's go ahead and tap start and our green light starts to blink. We'll click back over here to this page. Now initially, you can see it goes to float there at diff status in the bottom right because it's starting to receive the corrections from the network. And then it's going to think about this for a minute and you can see now it's fixed and the horizontal accuracy is estimated to be about 1.1 centimeters. And the other thing to keep an eye on when you're conducting work with RTK equipment is the diff age right there below the diff status. We can see we have really great uh, diff age coming in right now. It's solid at one second. In the field with cell service, uh, depending on how good it is, it might count up to two or three seconds, um, but you know we want to keep it below that. As we saw with the SBAS, it usually counts up to about seven seconds and then drops back down to four. But right now we're getting really great service. So this was just a quick introduction on how to set up your RTK connection with an Arrow 200. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us here at Anatom Field Solutions. You can see our contact page and contact us either through phone calls or emails, and we appreciate questions. Thank you.